Hey everyone, it's ZLR here, and uh, last night was a special one for New England Patriots fans as Tom Brady's Hall of Fame induction happened, and uh, a lot of stuff did indeed happen, and I wrote it all down to actually do like a little recap here, so let's actually do that. So, um, obviously... I had to wear the Patriots jersey for this one. Uh, obviously, not a Tom Brady jersey. I used to have one, but not anymore. That thing's way too small for me. And, uh, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. So, first off, we had Jay-Z perform which was not shown on the stream, so everyone kind of thought the stream was broken, but it was not. Uh, as I said, Jay-Z performed. They showed a few celebrities, I believe, before the stream actually started, at least for people that were watching it on YouTube in the Patriots.com area. But um, after that, we had a video of uh, Tom Brady, and this stuff looked like it was out of a, MF, a NFL Films video. Uh, it was called Who Is He? And it was actually really, really good. I, I, got, the, I got to pretty much the part right before Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft came out, but I did... Uh, write those ones down, so at least I have those. And uh, comedian Bill Burr, he came out, practically like hosted like half of it, it seemed like. Uh, tells an Andy Reid joke, which was pretty funny. He said, uh, it, it was something about Andy Reid being fat, but it was like comedian stuff, so it's like, I don't know. Um, Video package with Brady's family talking about uh, how before he was who he was, he was just a Brady named Tom. And to be completely honest, that was pretty friggin' funny as well. Uh, they showed Pat Patriots legends everywhere. I don't, I was going to say Pats, but I want to say Patriots. Um... Then there was a Tom Brady interview, and during that time, I was actually driving, uh, so I couldn't really watch that part. But um, we had Patriots legends talk about Brady and at practices, practically saying that he was annoying as shit. Practically everyone was saying that, and it was funny as hell. Um... Brady thanks uh, Drew Bledsoe for being a leader when he first joined the team. And that was a pretty pretty nice thing for Tom Brady to say because, I mean, Bledsoe, he was only there for a short amount of time before Brady actually became the starter. And Brady still wanted to say thank you for everything they did, help them become a leader and everything, which is really nice. Um, unique stories of Brady from former teammates. There's, um, quite a few of them. I know, uh, Peyton Manning talked about one of them at one point. Uh, when Patrick Chum was up there talking, he said that he was ecstatic about Brady knowing him before ever meeting. Um, and that was, and that's what Brady told him when they met is that he already knew who the guy was, which was pretty decent. And, I mean, Patrick Chun, being Patrick Chun, he was ecstatic. <laughs> there was also a lot of Hall of Famers that congratulated uh, Brady in the montage video. There was uh, Ray Lewis, Charles Woodson, um... Eli Manning popped up at one point, got massive boos. Mahomes even popped up and got even more massive boos. And then um, 
at the end, Charles Woodson made, made a funny comment. He said, it was a damn fumble. Then uh, Peyton Manning comes out in Foxborough. Everyone loves him. Standing ovation for uh, Peyton Manning when he came out. Uh, Tom and Peyton hug it out. Brady with a funny line off the mic, which you can actually hear, and he says, You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> but uh, when someone first said it, uh, it said, You're fucking killing me. But um, we found out later on during the night that it was uh, a little bit different. Um, Peyton talks about going up against Brady in... Indianapolis when they were in the same division before the shakeup that actually moved Indy out of the AFC East. And for me, I didn't actually even know that. Like, I've been a I've been a fan of the NFL for quite a while, but I never knew that they were in the same division before. And um that, that's just something new that I got to learn, and I'm pretty happy that I learned about it. Um, Peyton knows that he's loved in New England because he he knows that he's lost to Brady so many times, and the people love him for it. Uh, he even says that Eli wouldn't get as much love if he came. Um, Peyton also talks about how him and Brady learned from each other while hanging out. Peyton jokes about Brady coming in crafts jet. That that one was a really funny joke. And um yeah, Peyton and Tom Brady would be going out there doing their golfing. You know how they do. And um during that time they'd talk about how they could better themselves against each other and everything. Practically almost like learning their weaknesses and that was a pretty cool thing to uh, get to know as well. Even though I didn't know about um, Peyton and Brady always hanging out with each other. Then some other sports legends came to congratulate Brady. Like uh, my one of my favorite baseball players, Big Poppy. And um, there was also a few Bruins players. Um... <laughs> Oh, crap. I'm kind of blanking on other people. Uh, yeah, I didn't really write down all of the people that were there. And plus I have three pages of, well, almost three pages of just notes. We're seven minutes into this and I just got through the first, so that's pretty good. Uh, Dan Copen and Logan Mankins also came out. Uh, they introduced Drew Bledsoe, Matt Castle, and Brian Hoyer, Josh McDaniels. And this was called a look into the QB locker room. And I can say th this was a this was a pretty good little segment in it. Bledsoe got jokes, said Bra said Brady was annoying. He was the first one to really say it. Talks about Brady's deficiencies. Uh, Matt Castle said he learned about QBs and uh, got better at it with Brady. Uh, there was also a story of how Brady needed one snap off the field so Matt Castle could go in during the Jags game. And after getting super hard, he just came back in the next play after that and won. Uh, Danny Amendola then came out next and spoke for a little bit, congratulating Brady and everything about what he did. Um, then there was, uh, <laughs> then, uh, friggin' Bill Burr comes back out, starts doing this whole entire thing with, uh, pictures of Brady. And uh, we had, the first one was the picture of long hair Brady with, uh, I think it was Donnie Wahlberg. And that was pretty, that was a pretty nice one to see. Jokes about not going to Dorchester. They need him on Sunday. And I just said Bill Burr is hilarious because there was, 
there was a lot of jokes in there that was pretty funny. Um, a pick at A Rod got booed loudly, and even Snoop got booed. I don't know why, but I put in here fans are ferocious. I I, I guess they don't like Snoop Dogg. I do. Matt Damon had a video package also for Tom Brady, thanking him for all he did in New England during his years here. James White and Kevin Falk came out, and they bring out Gronk, Welker, Moss, and Edelman. And right when I saw all of these guys come out, childhood. Right back. Because I all because it's like got to see Balker, Moss, uh, Elman and Gronk play all throughout my childhood and stuff because Welker and Moss were there in two thousand seven. Gronk came in uh Oh crap, I'm blanking on that right now. Eh. Yeah. Uh, but it was pretty nice. Randy, Randy Moss was the first one to speak as well. But before he could really say anything really important, he got a one minute standing ovation from the crowd that brought him to tears. And it, it was a very, it, it was a very nice thing to see, to be completely honest. He, he definitely, he definitely wanted that and he wanted all the love and he did um randy said while on the vikings he actually thought about like oh if i play with tom brady i want to show how i want to show the world how good i can really be and then oddly enough he goes he comes to the team and and does exactly what he says Welker and Moss both wanted to prove something in 2007 when they went oh, to the Super Bowl and lost to the Giants fuck you Eli and uh yeah uh Edelman he stops himself from saying fuck and Gronk said, as a rookie, he sucked, but was good at the same time. He got his confidence boosted by Tom Brady. Uh, and as I said before, everyone thought Brady was annoying because at this point, practically everyone on stage, except for really Gronk, really, he said he didn't really like him the first season, but he didn't say he was annoying. Um... Yeah, and uh, there was a little story of Gronk going up against Brian Erlacher in Gronk's first season as a Patriot. Uh, then we had another video package from Sportscasters, which was actually pretty nice. We even got to hear uh, Joe Madden's name mentioned a few times, and I thought that was pretty nice of them to do as well. Um, then, then the big boys came out as Bill Belichick and Robert Kraft both came out to speak and they both had pretty good speeches. These were actually, these were the two things that I actually did get kind of miss, but didn't really miss because I got the news on my phone about it. But, uh, yeah, Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft, they both gone up. They spoke, thanking Brady about everything. And uh, then Tom Brady goes up, talks. Uh, I actually didn't get to see what he really said, but uh, he, pra he practically said thank you and everything, just like how everyone else did. He thanked everyone that played with him. Um, and... Also, Brady's number 12 in New England is now officially retired. And, uh, 
that is really how the thing ended was with Brady's number 12 getting retired in the NFL. A lot of people thought that he was going to get a statue, which I still believe he probably will. Um, unless they did unveil one, but I just didn't see it during the video. Because obviously at that point, I was just like, I'm too tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video. Uh, it, I know it's a little bit different than what I usually do. I, uh, I just wanted to speak about it because it was part of my team. Part of me growing up, pretty much. As a New England, my, eh, as a New Englander myself. That's from Massachusetts. I thank Tom Brady a lot for what he did during his 20 years here. So, uh, yep. <laughs> well, other than that, hope you guys like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you really want to do. And as always, I'll see you all in the next video. See you around.